Hi guys. Hi. Good evening. Sorry for uh, coming a bit a little uh, late. Um, uh, how have you, how are you guys doing? Hope you are well and uh, welcome to today's uh, focus in town. I'm just going to start the lesson right now. Okay. All right, guys. Is anyone there? Let me just put on the lights. Let me just put on my lights, guys. <clears throat> Hi, guys. My name is Adrian. I'm from Maies Montenero in Milan. Thanks for joining us today and being with me, Adrian. Um, hope everyone's having a nice day so far. And uh, welcome to Focus Activity 2 to 3 in town. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, so today we're going to be talking about asking questions at the supermarket, at the post office, and conversations in town. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right, so let's put the questions in the correct order. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give you guys, uh, sorry, I'm gonna give you guys some time to try and put these questions in the correct order. Yeah. All right, so let's start. Uh, where are you from? Yeah. So question word, the verb to be, subject, okay? That's how the construction is. Uh, question word, verb to be, and subject. Where, question word, are, verb to be, you, subject, yeah? So where are you from? And how would you answer this, guys? So this is how I would answer this. I am from Milan, yeah, in Italy. I am from Milan in Italy. Perfect. Moving on to the next one. Live you do where? So like I said, first you put the question uh, word, then the, the verb to be, and then you have the subject. So in this case, we have where, Perfect. Now here, we don't have the verb to be, but we have the auxiliary verb, which is do, yeah? So where do, subject, you live, where do you live? <clears throat> I live in Milan. So let me write the first question, number one. Where are you from? Yeah, and number two, where do you live? And number three, So now, this is what we call a closed, a closed question, where you have an auxiliary or, uh, uh, or a verb to be. In this case, it's the verb to be. So is, and then uh, your possessive, yeah? Is your noun, town, big or small? Yeah. Is your town big or small? All 
All right, so now let's check the answers, guys. Where do you live? And number three is, is your town big or small? All right, I'm going to keep this on there. Where are you from? Where do you live? And is your town big or, or small? So, is your town big or small? You answer short, big or small, yeah? These are called uh, yes and no uh, questions, yeah? So, e, uh, are you Adrian? Yes, I am. Oh, no, I'm not, yeah? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Perfect. Right, let's check if anyone's here. All right. Good. All right, let's move on. At the supermarket, match the word to the picture. Yeah. Bread, milk, vegetables, cleaning products, fruit, meat. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I would like you to, let me take this out. I would like you to match the, first of all, before matching, I would like um, to do a pronunciation uh, drill. So repeat after me. Bread, bread, milk, milk, vegetables, vegetables, cleaning products, cleaning products. Fruit, fruit, meat, meat, yeah? Perfect, guys. Now, moving on. <clears throat> All right, so let's, let's try A. What would be picture A? What word would you match with picture A? Can I give you guys some seconds? So A, we would say this is meat. Examples of meat is beef, chicken, uh, pork, fish, mm, what else, um, turkey. Yeah. So, hi, Amy, hi. Nice to see you, Amy. Amina, hi, Amina. I'm Adrian from uh, Milan in... Uh, in Milan, yes. So A is meat, yeah? Just for pronunciation purposes, uh, Amina. Hi, Severino. Hi, my name is Adrian. I'm from uh, Milan. Nice to see you guys online. Perfect. All right, now let's match the words to the pictures, yeah? So A, meat. B is vegetables. Uh, Amina and Severino, can you tell me what type of vegetables do you see in the picture B? What type of uh, uh, vegetables do you see in picture B? I'm going to wait for your responses, guys. There is a bit of a delay, but I will wait for you. Uh, pepper, so you have green pepper, you have red pepper, and then you have tomatoes. What else do you have, Amina? You have tomatoes, you have, uh, you got chilies, you got chilies, red pepper, green pepper. All right, perfect. Let's wait for the responses. Any other vegetables you see there? All right. What about uh, letter C? What word do you match? Would you match with letter C?
Chili, yes, chili. You can repeat the question, please. Uh, can you repeat? Yes. What vegetables can you see in picture B? So we see red pepper, green pepper, tomatoes, chili, and uh, that's it. Stop. That's it. Yeah. Now, for letter C, what word represents letter C? What word do you match with letter C? What is the word on the list? <laughs> Excuse me. Milk. Very good, Amina. Very good. Milk. What about uh, uh, the next one? Letter D. Letter D. What word do you match? Thank you, Amina. Thank you. Thank you, Amina. What word would you use with letter D? Brad, very good. Is uh, Severino still there? Severino, what is your real name? Is it Geoffredi? Oh, Severino, okay. Are you still there, Severino? All right, moving on. Very good, Amina. What about E? What is E? What word represents E? Fruit. And Amina, what type of fruit do you see in letter E? What type of fruit do you see in letter E? I can see some strawberry. What else can you see? What type of fruits can you see? Severino, Amina, what type of fruits can you see? I see strawberries. What other fruits can you see? The picture is not clear, is not clear. Ah, okay. Uh, now, can you see now? I see strawberries and melon. Uh, I see some grapes. I see blueberries, I think it's blueberries and uh, blackberries. I think blackberries, blueberries, some melon, yeah? Yes, the picture is not clear, you're right. All right, moving on. And the last one is cleaning products. Can you give me some example, Amina, of cleaning products? Could you give me some? Very good, Amina. Could you please give me some examples of cleaning products? Soap, uh, detergent, yes. Uh, perfect. Very good, Amina. Very good. Now, Amina, can you, did you memorize? I want to check your memory. Can you remember all of the words for letter A, B, C, D, E, F? Do you remember the words, the vocabulary? 
Can you tell me what is A? I want to test your memory. Tell me what is A. What vocabulary is A? Uh, picture A. A is meat. What about B? Can you remember B is vegetable? C? Very good, Amina. What about C? Uh, C is milk, D is bread, and what about E? Fruit, and F? Very good, very good, uh, Amina. Great job. Cleaning products, perfect, perfect, Amina. All right, let's move on. Now, at the supermarket, ask for location of items on your shopping list. So when you go to the supermarket, and if you don't know uh, where to find the milk, where to find the cleaning products, where to find cheese, this is how you would ask, yeah? So now, Amina. The, the text in blue is uh, said by the shop, the shop assistant or the customer, the one in the blue. This is a dialogue between the customer and the shop assistant. So in the blue, is the customer or the shop assistant? Or the shop vendor? Shop assistant or shop vendor? Shop vendor, yes. The blue is the shop. No, the blue is the customer and the the red is the shop vendor the text in the red is the sh the customer the text in the blue is the vendor yeah okay uh, amina perfect so hello do you have bread yes of course hi where is the milk it's here hello where are the vegetables it's over there yeah so it's here meaning very close to you yeah very near to you close to you near to you besides you beside you over there is very far from you okay all right amina so, hello, do you have uh, milk? Yes, of course. Where is the milk? It's here. Hello, where are the cheese? Uh, where is the cheese, sorry. Where is the cheese? It's over there, yeah? Over there is very far. Here is close, near, all right? So when you go to Esalunga or Cop or Lidl, and if you don't know where the things are, you say, excuse me, hi, do you have bread? Yes. Where is the bread? And the shop vendor responds, it's over there or it's here. All right. 
Is that clear, Amina? Do you have orange juice? Yes, it's here. It's close to you, near to you, yeah? Another example, uh, do you have orange juice? Yes, I have. Uh, where is it? It's over there, yeah? Okay, Amina, you, you are the shop assistant, shop vendor, and I am the customer, okay? And I will ask you a question and you respond. Are you ready? Are you ready? You respond by typing. Are you ready? Okay. Perfect. Uh, so I'm the customer, you are the vendor. Um, I'm writing the question. Uh, hello, do you have um, uh, yogurt? Do you have yogurt? I want you to respond by typing. So, Amina, do you have yogurt? Yes, of course. Uh, where, where is, where is the yogurt? Where is the yogurt, Amina? Ah, it's here. Perfect, Amina. Now, Amina, you are the, you are the sh customer and I am the shop assistant. Ask me a question. Perfect. Now ask me a question. You are the customer and I am the shop vendor. I am the shop vendor, yeah? Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course we do. Yeah. Okay, and the next question is, <clears throat> where is the beef, beef steak, please? Uh, it's, it's over here. Perfect. Very good, Amina. So one more thing, uh, Amina. Where is we use for singular nouns? Yeah? Something we use for uncountable nouns. Singular. Where are we use for plural or countable nouns? Okay, I'm going to write this down. Where is a singular or uncountable nouns? Yeah. Where are or plural nouns or countable nouns. It's clear. 
where is for singular nouns or uncountable something you can't count like where is the sugar you can't count sugar so is it's here where are plural where are the bananas they are it's over there Okay, Amina. So where is for singular? Where are for plural? Okay, so now I want you to ask me a question with uh, plural nouns. So you are the customer and I am the shop vendor. Ask me a question with the plural nouns. You want to know where uh, are, these th are these things in the supermarket? Yeah? Perfect, Amina. Can you ask me a question now using plural? Where are the potatoes? Very good. The potatoes are over there. Perfect, Amina. Let's move on. Let's continue. Very good, Amina. Great job. We have another person uh, in, uh, in the chat room. Who is the other person? Okay. Uh, we can't see the other person. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Now, Amina, I, I'm going to repeat this, and I want you to repeat at your end for pronunciation's sake, yeah? At the post office, match the word to the picture. Now, repeat after me. Stamp. Stamp. Envelope. Envelope. Address. Address. Send. Send. Postcard. Postcard. Letter, letter, okay, good job. Now, um, now I would like you to match the words to the right picture. So let's start with picture A, picture A. So what is picture A? Uh, Amina is, okay, A is stamp, very good. What about B? A is stamp, B, What about B? B is uh, no um, B no B is send. Yeah, B is send to send a postcard, to send a letter. Okay? To send a postcard, to send a letter. All right? Uh, C C is a postcard. 
Perfect. What about D? D is envelope. What about E? E address, very good address, and the last one is letter. Yeah, very good, Amina, very good. Now I would like you to, I would like to check your memory, Amina. Do you remember everything without looking without looking at the words? Can you tell me what is A, B, C? What are the words for A, B, and C? D, E, and F. Do you remember? A is? Stamp, stand, postcard, D, E, F. Perfect, Amina. Very good. Envelope, E and F. Address and the last one. Ooh. Come on, the last one. Letter, very good. Perfect. Good job, Amina. All right. Now, at the post office, to ask what you need, okay? Uh, sorry, yeah. Now, when you, when you go to the post office, you ask the person at the desk what you need, yeah? So, good morning is, um, is, the, um, is, the, is the post office agent, yeah? the post office agent. And the one in the blue is the customer. So, good morning. Good morning. Can I send a letter? Yes, you can. Can I have a stamp? Of course. How much is it? It's two pounds. Okay. Now let's try practicing without the text. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I send a letter? Yes, you can. Can I have a stamp? Of course. How much is it? It's two pounds. Okay. Can you try? Can you try, Amina? to tell me what is the first word, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth. Yeah, so we start with good. Thank you. Yeah, so we start with good. Do you remember previous good? Good morning or good afternoon, and then good out. Can I? What is the word? Um, what is the word we put in the in that space? Can I? Can I? Can I send you? Okay, and then the next one is, can I have, can I have a?
how much is it and can i have a stamp very good perfect uh, amina good job so uh good morning good morning can i have a stamp yeah how much is it Can I have, what is this, um, Amina? Can I have, is it, can I have a envelope or can I have an envelope? Which article goes before envelope? A or N? Can I have a envelope or can I have an envelope? Can you tell me which one goes before envelope? Can I have an envelope? Because an is a vowel, because e, e is a vowel, e is a vowel, yeah? So we use an, for consonant we use a, okay? For vowel we use an. Before, before a vowel. And A goes before a consonant. Okay. All right. So N goes before a vowel and A goes before a consonant. Yeah. Perfect, Amina. Can I have a letter? How uh, can I have a letter? Yeah. Oh no, can I send a letter? Yeah. How much is it, Amina? Can I send a letter? How much is it? Can you respond? Can I have a, can I send a letter? How much is it? Perfect, Amina. Very good. Can I? Can I? Um, can I write the address? Can I write the address? Can I have? Uh, can I write the address? No worries. No problem. No problem, Amina. Me too. I also have a bad connection. No worries. It's fine. Not a problem. Okay, so can I write the address? Perfect. Can I send a postcard? And the last one is, can I write a letter? Can I write a letter? Yeah. Okay, Amina, if everything is okay, can we move on? Can we continue? If it's okay, type okay or a thumbs up so we can continue. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now this is the this is the uh, dialogue conversation between a post office agent and a customer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Can I have a postcard and a stamp, please? Of course. Anything else? Yes, an envelope, please. How much is it? 
It's four pounds, 50 cents. Thank you. Perfect, Amina. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Now, I would like you to respond to the, to the blank uh, spaces. Can you fill in the blank spaces? You're welcome, uh, Amina. You're welcome. So, can I have A-O-N? Can I have a postcard? Perfect, Amina. Yes. Uh, and then the next uh, response, yes. Of course, anything else? Yes. A stamp. How much is it? It's four pounds, five pounds. I'm joking. Very expensive. It's five pounds. Okay. All right. Now I want you to match these words. Yeah. Post office, supermarket, train station, aquarium zoo, police station, yeah? So, A, what is the letter A? The letter A, yeah? The letter A is? B is train, A is uh, post office, perfect. B is train station, very good, Amina. C, zoo, perfect. D, C, uh, D is aquarium, very good. E, <coughs> Supermarket and F is police station. Perfect, Amina. Very good. Good job. Uh, okay, use the map. Now, um, where is it? Use your maps to ask for directions. Excuse me. Hi, where is the police station? It's over there. Thank you. Excuse me, where is the zoo? It's right here. Thank you, you're welcome. Now, I'm going to show you a map, Amina, and we are going to use it to give directions, okay? Are you ready? But I will have to stop sharing this for me to, to start sharing the other, the, the map, okay? Can you see, can you see um, Amina, uh, Amina? Can you see Amina? Okay, perfect. So you are, you are at the place where it says you are here in red, yeah? Now, uh, I am a, a, a tourist in Milan, and I ask you, where is the zoo? 
can excuse me hi where is the zoo and you respond can you give me some directions where is the zoo amina It's over there, yes, it's over there. Uh, where is the supermarket? Excuse me, where is the supermarket? Where is the supermarket? It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Yes. Perfect. Amina, we will, uh, we will stop here for today with our lesson. Uh, I really like to thank you, Amina, for your patience and your time. You have been really good. I hope you enjoyed this lesson with me, Adrian from uh, Montenero in Milan. I hope to see you again soon uh, in the future. And um, uh, thank you for your time and your, your patience. And um, have a good Monday, a Tuesday, sorry, and a good evening and a good week. Bye, Amina.